Texas Republicans have asked a federal judge to throw out 100,000 ballots in Harris County cast through curbside voting. They drew Judge Andrew Hannon, one of the most notoriously partisan Republican judges in the entire federal judiciary. Judge Hannon has already scheduled an emergency hearing for Monday morning without even giving Harris County a chance to file a response brief. This too is extremely concerning. It looks like he may be rushing to throw out 100,000 disproportionately Democratic votes. Texas Republicans are deploying the theory, recently endorsed by uh, Thomas Alito, Gorsuch, and Kavanaugh, that only state legislatures have the authority over elections. His name because is the Harris Hassan. County clerk implemented drive through voting, Republicans say all 100,000 ballots must be tossed. Two partisan federal judges are already trying to nullify thousands of Minnesota ballots under this radical theory i'm deeply concerned that judge hanan too will use it to disenfranchise a hundred thousand texans on the eve of election day this is frightening ladies and gentlemen this is the stage we're at it's like the 2000 election on steroids across the entire country and if you've been tuning in to this broadcast for the past two months this is exactly what i've been talking about if joe biden is above a margin of error in all of the battleground states, none of those polls factor in this level of voter suppression. It's virtually impossible to factor in Republican like evil doing into your forecasting, predicting models. What's the actual argument how this would be illegal? It's not. The way our, the way our system works is, is not illegal the judge could literally look at a precedent established by or not even a precedent but like a opinion established by the supreme court justices and say well sorry this theory that was now established by alito gorsuch and kavanaugh uh is a theory that only state legislatures have authority over elections so if you're on your own county and you made it easier like they could literally do this against not just curbside voting i'm fairly certain they could even do this against the overnight voting if they wanted to they could turn around and just be like, oh, well, overnight voting doesn't work either. Um, sorry, uh, it doesn't matter. 10,000 people voted overnight. We're going to nullify that because that was uh, done at the, at the county level and it goes against the wishes of the state legislature. The funny thing is, Democrats love to say it's a republic, right? Well, bitch, even in the republic system... You're still West doing your very best to make sure that, like, Democrats win. lose the Electoral College by like stopping as many people from voting. Vote when Demo when Republicans say it's not a democracy, it's not a direct democracy, it's a democratic republic, what they actually mean is, I just want white people who own land to vote. I'm exaggerating, but, like, that's pretty much what they're signaling. Which, unironically, is actually more in line with the constitutionalist perspective than not. If we're being f***ing really real, if we had already accelerated to that level of fascism in this country, you would be hearing Republicans openly saying, well, I'm a constitutionalist and, and uh, our, our founding fathers actually wanted to make sure that only white landowning men are able to vote. And that is literally true. If you are an originalist, that's your opinion. That's absolutely an argument you could be, you, you could be making. For the record, as an originalist, that is more in line with an argument that you could make than any number of different arguments this that the originalists in the Supreme Perfect. Court have utilized in an effort to, uh, I don't know, destroy labor protections, for example. That shit's not in the Constitution. You're just making that shit up as you go along. There's no, like, established precedent for eviscerating, uh, eviscerating f uh, labor protections. The Texas Secretary of State approved Harris County drive through voting system months ago. Texas Republicans waited until after votes were cast to file suit. No amount of copium will hide the fact that this is blatant voter suppression. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's been publicly posted for months that Harris County would have this. The plaintiffs waited until after votes were cast to challenge it. Ultimately, it, it doesn't matter. I don't know what the legal defense to this is. Like, I don't know what you do in that circumstance. It, it just goes down to, it's called good faith. There's no such thing. If you think that any of these people are operating in good faith, you're a fucking idiot, okay? Wake the fuck up. I mean, this is actually something i've been saying for the past seven years i've been doing political commentaries like stop believing republicans they never operate in good faith they will never operate in good faith democrats don't even think that they're operating in faith if you ask me but you as a simp ass voter think that like there is some sort of bipartisan compromise that we can arrive at half of our rules and regulations are literally established on top of like what chat what the chatter was originally saying good faith 
we have no actual legal boundaries or restrictions built into the law that limits, for example, the power of the president during the lame duck session. We don't. The reason for that is because, in good faith, the president is supposed to not be a f psycho in that, in that uh, time frame. It's, it's about trusting the power of the institutions. It's about trusting that everyone is going to uh, operate in good faith. Let me tell you how Republicans like to operate in good faith. This guy flew down to Texas to help the Biden-Harris bus tour. Watch what happened next. Okay? This is a convoy... No wonder there's so much traffic. ...of psycho Trump supporters, their massive flags. And if you've ever, like, left your... Uh, if you've ever left your big city, uh, you see Trump supporters, their massive flags behind their pickup trucks everywhere. They were sitting along I-35 waiting to ambush the Biden-Harris campaign as it traveled from San Antonio to Austin. I saw this. This is what I saw earlier. Running them out of Texas. So here... That is hilarious. Wet ass people. Bro, they got... Make that pullout game weak. That's my favorite. I'm about to run... Like, Trump supporter with a f***ing weed flag. I'm about to run out of gas, which I'm sure some of you would love. <laughs> Shit, look at that. <gasps> oh my god. They almost got an accident. You see that? Look, look, Shit, look. Shit, look at that. <gasps> they did get hit. It wasn't almost. They did get an accident. Well, regardless, Democrats ended up canceling their Central Texas events after the Trump supporters surrounded and followed the Biden bus on I-35. They shouldn't have, if you ask me. Um, they ran into a person's car yelling curse words and threats. Don't let the bullies win and vote. Oh yeah, that's the, uh, that's, it, that's the car, right? That's the car that we just saw, right? Canceling is probably a play. So it can be like, look at the tactics they're using. Look how uncivil. No, dude, you don't cancel. You do the rally in their face. This is literally brown shirt shit. Like, I'm sorry. This is our version of brown shirt shit. Like, it doesn't have to literally be people wearing brown shirts. They're doing it. They're, like, trying to fucking intimidate the, 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 the party's bus in their own city. This is not a democracy, dude. This is not what, this is not what people do. The Texas Democratic uh, Party said that some of the vehicles pulled in front of the bus and slowed it down trying to bring it to a stop on the highway. Law enforcement responded to the incident and helped the bus reach its destination. Um, but then they decided to cancel an event at the Texas AFL-CIO parking lot in Austin later that day. Game Unfortunately, pro-Trump supporters, uh, protesters have escalated things well beyond safe limits. We cannot risk the safety and security of anyone involved. Isn't that great? Isn't that nice? I mean, this is terrorism. Guys, this is literally terrorism, okay? The intention of this action is to intimidate the Democratic Party and get them to stop His name is holding Hassan. election events Boy. and campaign rallies in the state of Texas, in, in this specific region of the state of Texas. We can make fun of it. We can say they're compensating. I mean, this is some animal this shit. These people are f***ing animals, number. okay? If it was the other way around, you'd be cheering Biden supporters for shutting down a Trump rally. No, that's not a justification. Like, we don't have to operate on a f***ing hypothetical you just made up in your mind. No, I wouldn't. I, and I f***ing would not. Like, you're wrong. They don't do that. They wouldn't do that. And you don't know what I would f say. You have no f***ing idea. Like, you literally don't know. You just made that up. And the reason why you had to make up a story in your mind is because what you are seeing before your eyes is indefensible. That's why you go into hypotheticals where in your mind, I'm reacting to an event that did not occur and I'm reacting in the way that is favorable to your position. That did not happen. You have no examples of this happening in the past. So therefore, you're making up a new story in your mind about a situation that never occurred. And then on top of that, my reaction to that situation that you have no clue about. It's because what you see before you is y'all Qaeda losing their f***ing shit. How can you not see that this is devastating for the future of this country? This is white ISIS shit, dude. I mean, straight up. You can cry about how radical and how far left the Democrats are all you want. And how Joseph Robinette is in charge of the Antifa Brigade. But these guys are behaving like terrorists they are and it's getting completely out of control like they're literally trying to get the bus to a full stop like what are they gonna do are they gonna kill them isn't that shit illegal it absolutely is what is this voter intimidation by maga freaks please watch yeah maybe right. because you're not in the actual covid unit Huh? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, COVID patients aren't just going to be sitting in the lobby. Who do you think you're talking to? 
Back the fuck up. Oh my god, no way. Little man, dude. Motherfucker, you got nothing on me. That's right, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. You got nothing? I do love telling young black kids that they got nothing on me as I'm wearing my flip flops. Let me just say something. Because there is a constituency in like the, the very small and overall irrelevant, like stupid Paul left that thinks like, you know, this is the real working class, goddammit, you know? Where they're like leftists, but they're like leftists who, who think like you can't be working class unless you say uh, the N word or something. And that uh, I myself am promoting like an undesirable version of the left that only appeals to like white, uh, rich white kids with a college education. I'm not talking about destiny and neoliberals. There's just like a constituency of people on the internet that just want to be best friends with their favorite podcasters, okay? And like completely adapt their language and everything that they say to to sound exactly like their favorite podcasters, you know what I mean? I'm talking like Comptown fans and shit. I mean, I have a lot of Comptown fans in my audience too, obviously. And like these dudes think like, oh no, like you're only working class if you say the N-word <laughs> to a black person. It's dumb as fuck, okay? I, I can't state this enough. The American working class is diverse. You feel me? It's not just people that are wearing hard hats, uh, working in a coal mine, getting the black lung. As a matter of fact, if you look at the rest of the American working class, it's like 55,000 uh, 55, people working coal mines, okay? 159,000 people overall work in the uh, oil and gas industry. Or this dude is absolutely just as much working class as this dude is. But beyond that, this dude just because you're like a worker doesn't mean you get to be a dipshit okay if you're being a dipshit i'm gonna make fun of you regardless of what your class position is i don't give a fuck. i'm a worker let me see the n-word come on this is why we're losing the working class because you won't let me say the n-word come on dude i'm not gonna loot i'm not gonna burn i'm not gonna murder I'm not but here's one thing i'll tell oh, here's one thing i'll tell you why you're wearing your mask murder. here's one thing i'll tell I'm you why you're wearing your mask here's one thing i'll tell you why you're mask hospitals are empty hospitals are empty yeah, they're empty stop this guy's gotta be drunk right i mean he's i wonder why he brought up like i'm not looting and i'm not uh burning businesses and buildings at the at the black teenage I, I've, been I've been through the whole hospitals check my feed girl check my feed girl <laughs>